when you've got parallel lines, like A, B, and C, D here, right? When you've got these parallel lines, there are lots of great patterns hiding all over the place. And you've noticed some of them. For instance, there's lots of um, corresponding angles. And you might recall I said, they kind of look like this. <laughs> so some people call corresponding angles, they call them fangles. I didn't make that up, trust me. Um, that's the kind of shape that you get from these corresponding angles, because you can see they're pointing in the same direction. If you've got alternate angles, they kind of look like this shape. At least that's one of the forms they can take. So some people like to call them, can you guess? Zangles. Zangles, right? We've got fangles, we've got zangles, we've got one last one that I'm going to show you this lesson. Question? I know, I know it's cool. Okay, well you can wait. Because you don't want to be that guy in the, in the, um, in the movie theater when everyone rolls in and like the movie starts and then someone's like, that's the bad guy! And everyone's like, ah, oh, you just ruined my, I just paid 10 bucks for nothing. That's, that's not cool. We want to be spoiler free in this classroom, okay? So, Okay, now, what I want you to see is, let's pick out some angles here and notice some relationships. Because you remember, I got alternate angles. I got these out of corresponding angles. Once you know these, you know these. Okay, you, you actually form them together. I'm going to do something similar here. Have a look at this angle I'm marking in here. What's its name? What's its name? Obtuse. Right okay, the size is obtuse. Oh. Glad you made it. Why don't you here? Exactly. Okay. The kind of angle it is, is obtuse, but it actually has a name here in this diagram. Aiden, um, do you want to take it? Um, angle AQP. Angle AQP would do it. It has one other name I could use. What else could I call it? PQA. PQA. They're both fine, right? They've both got the arms, they've both got the vertex in the right spot in the middle. All good. Let's write that down together. Angle AQP. Okay. Now, which angle corresponds to AQP? Which is the corresponding angle? to this one. Amy? Um, angle CRQ. CRQ, perfect, there you go. Right, and you can see, again, it's because they're facing in the same direction. One direction. Right? <laughs> I've been trying so hard all week to avoid saying that. They're facing in the same direction, so that's what makes them correspond. All good. Now, what I want to notice is, you think about all these different things you know about angles and you try to start putting them together. For instance, when you look at AQP again, I can see, alright, there's a corresponding oh, angle there, there's a vertically opposite angle there. I particularly want to draw your attention to this angle that's just next to it. Now we have a special word we use to say next to, it starts with an A, does anyone remember? Nikhil? Adjacent. Adjacent. This angle here that I just put in blue dots, AQR, is adjacent. So therefore I notice that because these angles are adjacent and they're on a, what is this? PS, what is that? It's a straight line, right? It's a straight angle. So adjacent angles on here, they should add up to something, right? What do those angles all on there add up to. Marley, is that a hand up or I'm just stretching? That's okay. Right, Aiden, you want to help us out? 180. Okay, this whole angle here, in fact, I'd love you to mark this in with me. We'll use this. <clears throat> this whole angle all the way is 180 degrees. I suppose if you like, you can also say why. It's because it's a straight angle. It's half of a revolution. Now, because it's 180, I'm going to put all of this together, right? I'm going to put everything together. Angle AQP, the red one, the top red one, it's equal to angle CRQ. That was the first thing we said. What was the reason? What was the reason? What's the relationship between these two red angles? Someone who hasn't said anything yet. Well, I, I know lots of us know. I know lots of us know. The, yeah, Darcy. What's the question again? The question is, these are equal, but why? Why is it that they're equal? Do you want to you have a stab at it? Um, Facing in the same direction, what's it called? Starts with the um, C. Hold on, hold on. Very good, we got there, okay? It was on the tip of your tongue, right? Yep. They're corresponding angles. So let's, let's give the reason here, okay? Uh, I'm going to put mine underneath because I've run out of a bit of space here. 
Corresponding angles on, what are they called again, these two lines? I've given them names, A, B, and C, D. So I'm going to say, corresponding angles on these two lines, which are parallel, because there's my parallel line symbol, corresponding angles on those are equal. That's good. <coughs> okay. But, and I'm actually going to say the word, but, as you just noticed in what I put in green there, right, <laughs> is that AQP plus the adjacent angle, the blue dotted one, what's it called again? What did we name it? What would you like to name this angle? How would you like to call it? Yeah, the AQR. AQR, that'll do it. Angle AQP plus angle AQR is equal to 180 degrees. It's the whole green angle. If I put them together, you get that green angle. Does that make sense? And the reason why is because I can have any number of angles there. If you add them together, all of the ones there, if I have like three or four or five or 100, they'll all add up to 180. So, we've said that they add up to 180 degrees and the reason is because the angle sum of a straight line or a straight angle, a straight angle will do, is 180 degrees. Do you remember I showed you before how the reason always matches up to the equation or the, the statement that you go with it, right? So these two are the angles on the straight line. And I'm saying they are equal to 180 degrees. Done. Okay. So now I want you to see how I can pull these together, okay? If you have a look at this second line here, I'll put a red star on it. If you have a look at this line here, do you see that I can say, Angle AQR, the blue dotted one, is equal to 180 degrees. Take away the angle I started with. Do you see that? Like, can I take the angle and subtract it from both sides? Do you see what I've done? Okay. So if I take this line and it's a balanced out equation, they're both the same on both sides. So if I do the same thing to both sides, we're all still good. I've taken this away from both sides. So that's why it disappears off here. There's only one angle now instead of two. And it's appeared over here on the right-hand side. But hold on, look at this, right? Angle AQR and, oops, sorry, what did I call it? AQ, yeah, angle AQR. That's, um, that's this one in here. It's related to this angle now. The red and the blue angles are related to each other. Let me try and show you how. This angle here is 180 degrees take away AQR, right? What's this angle down here equal to? That's just equal to AQ, um, AQP up here, right? Do you see that? Sorry, angle AQP. So when you have a look at these two angles together, the ones in the middle, right? We have a word for this. When you add them together, what will you get? When you add those two angles together, these two here, 180 degrees, take away AQP, and if I add it to angle AQP, what happens? What happens to that pair of angles on the end there? If you have a number, like 100, right? You take away 5 and you add 5. What do you get? What, what happens to it? Yeah. You get the first number. Yeah, you just come back to this guy, right? Like these two, I guess what I would say is they cancel each other out, right? So they both eliminate, they crash, and you end up with this, right? Now, I don't even know what the size of this angle is, but they're the same size. Do you notice that? So therefore, these guys are going to cancel each other out. You're just going to end up with 180 degrees, okay? We have a name for this, it starts with S. We looked at it this morning. What happens when you've got a pair of angles and you add them together and you get 180 degrees? Do you remember? Yeah, Daniel. Supplementary. We call these two angles supplementary. Whatever size they are, and I want you to have a look at your page, I want you to have a look at the page of the person next to you, those two angles are always going to add up every single time to 180 degrees. Okay? So therefore, I'm going to conclude down here. Angle.
I beg your pardon? Uh, yeah, you can if you like. These two angles that are both on the inside, right? Do you see how they're both on the inside of parallel lines? I guess I've got another pair over here, right? Because they are both inside, we call them co-interior. That's actually what co means. You know when people are cooperating, it means they are both working together. Um, we know when you say someone is coordinated, it means it's like, yeah, your arms and your legs work together. So the things that are co Interior, interior just means on the inside, right? So you've got both of these angles on the inside and they are supplementary. That's our conclusion, okay? So whatever this answer, this angle is, I mean, what does that angle look like? How big does, um, does this angle look like to you? Someone give me an estimate, yeah. 110. Yeah, 110 I think is pretty good. 110, 120, something like that. If I said 110, this one here, then what would the other angle equal to if they're supplementary? Someone else, who so doesn't say anything? Someone, someone else? Yeah, Bradley, what would you say? Wait, hold on a second. What does supplementary mean again? It means they add to 180, right? Yeah, I need something else. Yeah, 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 that's okay. Pay attention, Ranesh. Okay, 70 degrees, which by the way, it does look like about 70, doesn't it? You, we know that a right angle is 90 degrees, and that's gonna be a little bit less. Thumbs up. Okay. So this is our last thing. We had fangles, they're corresponding. We had zangles that are alternate, wrong color. What would you call these? What does it look like when you have angles that are both together? Seagulls. Yeah, I, I call them kangles, okay? Um, fangles, zangles, kangles. You've got corresponding, they face the same way. You've got alternate, they face opposite ways. And then you've got co-interior. They're both on the inside sort of nestled in together. And they are not, they're not equal. Watch out, they're not equal. They are in fact supplementary, so they're not the same size. Okay. 